you guys know the crazy jogger woman down in Berkeley? She jogs around. Yeah, I do know her. I'm quite familiar. Yeah, no, I don't know her. So there is this woman who jogs in Berkeley. She like, wears short shorts, jogging, like short, short jogging shorts, but they're extra short. She mm -hmm. wears a little fanny pack and like a sports bra, R like rain, shine, whatever. She wears this. And she carries weights or boxing gloves sometimes, it's, it's not clear. And she'll run down the street screaming, <laughs> like, Rah! and her face makes the most contorted, ugly and how old is she? face. She's like 30 something. So, Lucia and I, one time, we were walking out of our house, and like, we heard someone screaming, and we thought someone was like being attacked. So, we're like, oh my god, oh my god, who is that? And we run out, and then five minutes later, we see this woman running by screaming. It was her. One time when I was driving, my window was down, and before I actually saw her, I just heard this noise. It's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, this grunt noise. And I was like, what's that? And then when I got up, it turned out it was this woman jogging. And I was behind her, so it was really short shorts. And when I looked in my rearview mirror, I could see her face, which was grimacing. like. That, like she was in pain. Last week, I was at the farmer's market here, just doing my shopping for, for the produce. And uh, this place actually might have what you need. I was leaving, and she came up from behind, and I'd never actually seen her up close. And she came up um, from behind me, and I turned around, and she wanted me to sign a petition to uh, make the uh, military the Marines leave Berkeley. And then I thought, well, maybe she's not so disturbed. She's just a Berkeley eccentric. I saw her in San Jose one time. <laughs> wow. Yeah, she, she must be very addicted to what she's doing, running. At first I didn't know what it was, because a lot of times I'm lying in bed here at night, and it's usually around dusk, getting dark, and you'll hear, I'll just hear a noise. A scream, ah! But kind of faint in the distance, and it's like, what? And then it gets closer, but not too frequent. Maybe every, what, 30 seconds or so, there's another scream, ah! And then it gets louder, ah! So I finally got up and looked out the window and saw this woman jogging by. It just makes me wonder, what's she about? So I don't really think she's crazy, but I think she's very odd. So now, recently, I've taken to screaming back. So as she goes by the house and screams, I scream back out the window. Ah! You can't really psychoanalyze somebody who you don't know. That's not really fair. You don't know what they're really thinking. But this is someone who's in a lot of pain. Her face looks very pain. And like with a lot of struggle. And it makes you think that this is somebody who needs to be putting all their energy into just kind of keeping themselves together keeping themselves alive. But what happens is that when someone's very driven into one thing only, there's a line between passion and madness. Passion is, is part of what it is to be taken up with intensity, but then there's a kind of line you can go over where, where you're just driven. And, and maybe the difference is if you're passionate, you can express that to other people and they get it. And if you're in the line of madness, you're the only one who gets it. So there's something really compelling about this woman's presence. Like on the one hand, she's like quick, she runs by, but then she stays with you for some reason. And I just wonder about you know her psychology. Would you classify her as crazy? You know, I don't know enough about her yeah. to know. I just know that the fact that she kind of stays with people so much speaks to something about her, even though she seems kind of alone in the world, there's something that people respond to in her that maybe speaks to some need for social embracing or something, a need of hers or a suffering of hers, but I, I don't, I can't say.